मैं लो आर्टिकल वन है लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ विद वेयर दी पार्लियामेंट ड्रॉज इट्स लेजिस्लेटिव पावर फ्रॉम देर आर टू सोर्सेज इन दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वन इज आर्टिकल वन फोर्टी टू विच टेक्स अस टू दी फेडरल लेजिस्लेटिव लिस्ट दी सेकेंड आर अ सेट ऑफ प्रोविजन इन दी बॉडी ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विच कन्फर स्पेसिफिक पावर ऑन the parliament to make laws on identified specific subjects these are the two sources now the question before your lordship the, uh, and your ladyship the, the question before the court is as has come out in discussion recently is whether article 191 by itself and i emphasize upon the word my lord by itself is a source of legislative power and my submission on that is that it is not and i'll explain the reasons why i say that well your lordship has already seen the preamble to the act the preamble itself identifies the source of legislative power that the parliament has invoked it has invoked two sections two articles article 1752 and article 1912 My Lord, let's just read both of them very quickly, and then compare their language to Article One Forty Two. Article One Seventy Five, Clause Two, says this: No court shall have any jurisdiction, save as is, or may be conferred on it by the Constitution, or by or under any law. This is similar to but slightly more specific than 191 191 says subject to this constitution and the law the supreme court may make rules regulating the practice and procedure of the court now your lordship may turn to 142 142 is cast in different language altogether it starts off by saying subject to the constitution a majlis e shura parliament shall have exclusive power to make laws with respect to any matter in the federal legislative list so the legislative power is conferred with respect to identified subjects subject to the and the and the and subject to the constitution and the appropriate legislature is identified so that's how in my humble opinion you identify whether a, an article is a source of legislative power it identifies the subject on which the legislature can enact law and it identifies the legislature itself now if your lordship go back to 145 175 it simply says no court shall have any jurisdiction save as is or may be conferred on it by the constitution or by any law it doesn't say what is the ye main aapki zara clarify for me you are saying parliament does not have power to legislate except items mentioned in the federal legislative list is this what you are saying no my lord in the what is mentioned in the federal legislative yes or list no? as, yes and also on what is mentioned in the body of the constitution and i'll just take your okay, now i will give you an example my reading of the fourth schedule i mean science is developing artificial intelligence has evolved urdu mein isko shayad masnoi zehanat keh le outer space khalai basit keh le shayad social media samaji rabta keh le to inke mutalliq parliament qanoon nahi bana sakti hai kyunki in teenon cheezon mein se ek ka bhi zikr federal legislative list mein bhi nahi hai aur ayin ki kisi shikh mein एक्सप्रेसली या एम्प्लाइडली भी नहीं है अब जब अब आप अटेंड कर लें मेरे सवाल को माई लॉर्ड मेरे ख्याल में बना सकती है तो आपने अपने अपने ही सवाल को तोड़ दिया फिर अपने जवाब को नो माई लॉर्ड मैं मैं आपने जो लेजिस्लेटिव लिस्ट में एंट्रीज हैं उनको टू दी मैक्सिम पॉसिबल मैं आपको मैंने तीन एग्जाम्पल दे दी ना इन, इनको किसी तरह से भी वाहन फिट हो रही है और ना आएंगे किसी और शिक में आ रही है ये बातें जो मैंने आपसे जिक्र की है तो फिर पार्लियामान के पास तो इख्तियार नहीं है ना पाकिस्तान स्पेस प्रोग्राम नहीं शुरू कर सकेगा क्योंकि फेडरल लेजिस्लेटिव लिस्ट में इसका तस्करा नहीं है या तो आप ये आर्ग्यूमेंट करेंगे 
کہ نہیں سندھ کر سکتا ہے وفاق نہیں کر سکتا ہے کیونکہ باقی سارے اختیارات پھر صوبوں کے پاس ہیں تو آپ جواب دے دیں نا ایسے براڈ آپ اگر پینٹ برش اسٹروکس لگائیں گے تو اس کے لیے اپنی مشکلات بھی کھڑی ہو جاتی ہیں فار ایگزامپل ود رسپیکٹ ٹو اسپیس اسپیس پروگرامس اف پاکستان ہیز انٹرڈ ان ٹو انٹرنیشنل ٹریٹی قانون کی بات کر رہے ہیں قانون اور اسپیسیفک انٹریز ویچ الاؤ پارلیمنٹ ٹو انیکٹ لا فار فار امپلیمنٹنگ انٹرنیشنل کون سا انٹری بتا دیں ول انٹری 3 خلاف ہی کر رہا ہے کام ٹریٹیز میں کیوں جوڑ رہے ہیں ہم بھائی کسی کو آؤٹ آف اسپیس سے پروگرام کرنا ہے انڈیا نے کیا ہے کہ وہ ٹریٹی کے ذریعے کر رہی ہے اگر ہم کل شروع کرنا چاہیں تو آپ کے مطابق ہم نہیں کر سکتے ہیں یا کر سکتے ہیں تو اگر کر سکتے ہیں تو وہ کون سا پاور پارلیمان استعمال کرے گا اگر اس میں یہ نیوکلیئر انرجی کا نیوکلیئر کی بات آیا اس کے اس کے اندر آپ نے مکلک ورسز میری لینڈ کا کیس آپ نے آپ نے آپ لوگ اتنے متاثر ہو گئے ہیں امریکن ہم آپ سے آپ ہمارا ریٹن آئین ہے اس کی ہم بات کر رہے ہیں ان کا آئین اپنی جگہ ہے میں آپ کی ججمنٹ جو کہ آپ نے بھئی آپ ججمنٹ کو چھوڑ دیجئے نا سیول ایویشن آتھارٹی کے کیس پہ دی اس میں آپ نے آپ آپ ذرا ٹھہر جائیں نا تسلی سے بیس کریں نا یا تو آپ یہ آرگیمنٹ پیش نہ کریں جب آپ یہ پیش کرتے ہیں یہ بحث سامنے یا ایک مفروضہ کرتے ہیں کہ it is as given تو میں پھر یہ میں یہ نہیں مانتا ہوں یا تو میں کہہ میں یہ واپس لیتا ہوں یہ بات کو آپ کہتے ہیں کہ پارلیمان صرف وہ کام کر سکتی ہے جو 142 فورٹی ٹو فیڈرل لیجسلیٹو لسٹ یا ایکسپریسلی یا امپلائیڈلی ہو اس کے علاوہ کچھ نہیں کر سکتی یا تو کہیں میں یہ بات کو واپس لیتا ہوں اگر آپ یہ بات اس بات پہ کھڑے ہوئے ہیں تو پھر میرے سوال کا جواب دیجیے آپ جواب نہیں دیتے ہیں آپ کہتے ہیں میری لینڈ ورسز اس میں دیکھ لیں بھی اس کو کم کیوں دیکھیں میں اسپیس ٹیکنالوجی کے بارے میں تو کیس تیار کر کے نہیں آیا نہیں میں تو پریکٹس ان پروسیجر پہ ہوں اس پہ میں سوال اس پہ بات کریں نا پھر آپ یہ براڈ سٹروکس نہ پینٹ کیجئے سٹارٹنگ پوائنٹ تو میں آپ سے کہیں سے آپ براڈ سٹروکس جب پینٹ کرتے ہیں اپنے لیے مسئلے کھڑے کر دیتے ہیں تو آپ فوکسڈ رہیں اسی بات پہ آئٹم ففٹی ایٹ ففٹی ایٹ اور دوسرا مجھے صرف یہ بتا دیجئے گا پارٹ ٹو اینٹری تو دیکھیں نوٹ ویتھ سٹینڈنگ آرٹیکل ون نائنٹی ون آپ کا آرگیومنٹ یہ ہے کہ دی پارلیمنٹ از بی ریفٹ آف جورسٹکشن ٹو لیجسلیٹ ان دی کانٹیکسٹ آف اینی آف دا فنڈامنٹل رائٹس اور ایکسیس ٹو جسٹس میں لوٹ آئی ہیو ناٹ آرٹیکولیٹڈ مائی آرگیومنٹ ایز یہ اگر آپ یہ اگر آپ کر لیں آئی تھنک بہتر ہوگا اگر آپ نے آپ یو آرگیو ایز یو وانٹ آرگیو ایز یو وانٹ پلیز گو بیک ٹو یور آئی آئی اپولوجائز یو آرگیو ایز یو چلے چلے کریے 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 میں لوٹ فور ٹو ڈیز آئی ہیو ہرڈ آل آف کریے 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 میں لوٹ آئی ویل آنسر یور یور لوٹ شپ کوسچن آلسو اب آپ کر لیجیے نا میں لوٹ دی سٹارٹنگ پوائنٹ فار لیجسلیٹو کمپٹنس از entry uh, uh, article 142 or the body of the constitution now body of the constitution for our present purposes the only article relevant is article 191 in the legislative list there is entry 55 now these are the two provisions that have to be uh, interpreted and read article as i read article 175 2 The expression subject to law, which is used in 191, is used in various other articles also. That by itself does not confer any legislative power or any, on any identified legislature. Just kindly look at Article 14. Article? Article 14. One four. One four. Dignity of man. Hmm? Dignity of man. Article 14. It says, the dignity of man and subject to law, the privacy of home shall be inviolable. This by itself doesn't say who will make the law. The province will make the law or the federation will make the law. 
in order to determine who can make the law for the purposes of Article 14, you have to go to other provisions of the Constitution. The same is with respect my submission for Article 191 also. It तो does... ये, ये argument मतलब फेडरेशन भी बना सकती है और प्रोविंस भी बना सकता है दोनों बना सकते हैं उनके लिए आपको देखना पड़ेगा कि लेजिस्लेटिव पावर स्प्रेड कैसे है और दोनों ने बनाए हुए हैं क्योंकि क्रिमिनल लॉ पिनल लॉ पे हो सकता है गलत बनाए हो जी प्रोविंस भी बना सकता है और प्राइवेसी वगैरह के बारे में फॉर एग्जांपल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक क्राइम एक्ट है फेडरेशन ने भी बनाया हुआ नहीं पर उसी तरह अगर चलें तो 181 में सब्जेक्ट टू लॉ है एंड सपोज देयर इज नो एंड आई थिंक देयर इजंट एनी कोरिस्पोंडिंग एंट्री रिलेटिंग टू प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रोसीजर देयर इज नो सो देन द वर्ड लॉ वुड बिकम रिडंडेंट इन 191 नो माय लॉर्ड हाउ व्हाट वुड इट नो व्हाट वुड हैपन टू दैट दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई एम सेइंग आई एम आई एम ट्राइंग टू प्रोसीड स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो 191 as i read it my lord but the mere fact that the expression subject to law is used does not confer any legislative power just as that it doesn't confer any legislative power under article 14 what it is my lord the power is conferred on the supreme court the power is on the supreme court to make rules subject to law is a limitation on that it's a limitation on the power that has been granted to the Supreme Court. My Lord, there are two Supreme Court judgments which say that, my Lord, your Lordship, I, I mentioned them in my, so, so in you, my written you, submission. You mean, Mr. Bhandari, Mr. Do, do, you, do you mean that? Judgment cite the, do, do, so, the first, the citation. Mr. Bhandari, do you mean that before making rules, there must be some law? My Lord, I, I, I'm not saying that. There, there may be, there may be. So, so subject uh, to law, what does it mean, subject to law? Well, and, and a validly enacted law by the appropriate legislature. It could be pre-existing. It could without be, without any enactment, rule cannot be made. No, rules can be made. They can. But be subject made. to law, my lord. Rules. The rule-making power is a standalone, independent power on the Supreme Court. But subject to law. If there is a law, then the. Uh, uh, Parliament can make that law within the limits that I will so just explain. You said Parliament can make a law. Par Parliament can, but I will just explain what in my humble understanding are the limits on that. I will explain that. Well, but there citations are, there. Gee, my Lord, the, 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 Mr. Bandari, that is subject to constitution to and law. <laughs> so you borrowed this far from the constitution and subsequently you made rules. Yes, my Lord. This is, this is the intent. This is the intent. This is the intent. My Lord, this citation, this, the citation is by Muhammad Khan versus Border Allotment Committee, PLD 1965, Supreme Court 623, at page 633. For what proposition? My Lord, this expression, subject to constitution and law, was discussed in detail by Mr. Justice Kekaus in his judgment, and this was then followed in LDA versus Imrana Tivana, 2015 SCMR. Okay. 1739. एक सेकंड एक सेकंड दूसरा कौन सा एक मिनट होते हैं 2015 SCMR अब तक हुए हैं 1739 ओके ठीक है ये ये फ्रेज इस लास्ट वर्ड दिस फ्रेज हैज बीन डिस्कस्ड दिस फ्रेज सब्जेक्ट टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड द लॉ See, so that's my submission that when it says subject to the law in Article 191, in order to know what law can be made under in this context, you will have to go to other provisions of the constitution. The relevant page, bata dijiye, uska kaun sa judgment hai? Well, at 65 Supreme Court 623 at 633. 633. Hmm. Aur wale and, and Imrana Tewana ka hai, 2015 SCMR 1739, paras 51 to 53 at 1764. 1765. So this by itself, I say, so you go back to 142 and there is no other provision in the body of the constitution dealing with this. So my lord, you go back to 142. 142 takes you to entry 55. So let us see whether there is any Entry power. 55 is only related to the jurisdiction part. My lord, it will also cover practice and procedure. Just let me explain why. It is only related to the subject to the constitution. Hello, the, what? The, 
ये जो आप अभी बता रहे हैं ना इसमें तो सब्जेक्ट टू दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है एंड लॉ के ऊपर नहीं है इसके ऊपर आप जो डेफिनेशन बता रहे हैं के कौ साहब ने स्पेसिफिकली सब्जेक्ट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड लॉ भी डिस्कस किया जजमेंट है ना ये ये एलडीए का जो जजमेंट है इमरान टीवाना का नहीं नहीं सर आप के कौ वाला देखिए के कौ साहब की टू दी ओनली वर्ड सब्जेक्ट टू दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नो नो सर ये ये जो 65 सुप्रीम कोर्ट है उसमें दोनों डिस्कस इट इज यू रेफरिंग दी आर्टिकल 142 उसमें तो सब लव्स ही शुरू में इंट्रोडक्शन है वो तो सब्जेक्ट कुछ तो बताया सब्जेक्ट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जी जी बट जो 65 सुप्रीम कोर्ट है उसमें ये उन्होंने सब्जेक्ट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड लॉ दोनों को डिस्कस किया इसका जो 65 का कौन सा पेज 623 एट 633 जरा इसको पढ़ ले 65 अगर आप देखते हैं सर Yes. The my lord at 633. Check out sub to the. ये भी subject to this constitution नहीं है, law नहीं है इसके अंदर. Law नहीं है. है है. ये आप देख लें. वो page आप बता रहे हैं उसपे तो नहीं मिल रहा है. जी जी ये आप यहाँ से. जो referring page 633. पढ़ देना. ये सर मैं नीचे से बन. Eleventh, twelfth line from the bottom. पढ़िए. At 633. The central legislator, the central legislature can legislate with respect to jurisdiction of courts, but the jurisdiction granted by Article 98 is subject only to this constitution and not to this constitution and the law. A reference so to the to various then provisions then of the constitution. So, this is the point. Then, my lord is correct. My lord, let's look at this. Ajit, okay. A reference to the various provisions of the constitution will show that whenever it uses only the word "subject to this constitution," it does not mean "subject to this constitution and the law." But whenever the intention is that a particular provision should be subject not only to the constitution, ye, but to a law enacted by virtue of powers granted by the constitution, the constitution says so. So, when constitution and the law. So what? I am not following. Well, what what it is nee, saying nee, is. Who? 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 enacted by virtue of powers granted by the constitution it's not a it's not it enabling, the it's not a power that is giving legislative competence yes that's what i'm saying that you, you have, have to, to go back go looking to, for the competence yes you have to go to the source of the power in the constitution and there the source is, of the power is, has to be in some other provision of the constitution which takes you to 142 and 142 takes you to no, 155 but that's not coming out of this judgment well that that is the only judgment on this that no, i know but this theek hai aapne mehnat ki that's good but well, but uh, this is this is how how i read this sure, sure, sure. well then let's go to entry 55 and you say that the that law under 181 would stand through 55 it, it can only stand through 55 only through 55 only through 55 your lordship ek 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 second hai jaiye well why not 55 read with 59 फोर्टीन but the cursory mm. examination of the fourth schedule huh. does not throw up the word privacy it, do, it doesn't my lord but but oh, there no, are no but you said then both the federation can make laws and it has no it has can it still be unconstitutional well, but uh, in the argument you should forget if it is has this they have also made a law so that's neither is here nor there but if the word is not mentioned then your argument should have been that only the province can make the law Well, if, please enlighten me my lord my lord the parlim, uh, parliament has for example the example legis- yahi le le legis- ah. legislative competence to enact laws about companies now in exercise about? of about companies no no no, 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 no no please don't do this me, you you no 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 don't do this no you use the word you chose the word of all the thousands of words circulating in the universe privacy 
you chose Article 14, either you take back that argument or uh, entrench that argument with some okay. legal arguments. Then then that's what I'm trying to do. Aap companies pe chale gaye. Main company se example aapko se ga, then it comes company. Company. Let me answer, answer this question. Let me answer this question. Let me answer this question. Regardless of and notwithstanding Article 191, say a law is validly and competently made by the legislature. What if that law is in conflict with the rules made by the Supreme Court under Article 191? How will you read subject to law? Will the rules prevail or that law? I will, I will come to that, but let me answer my Lord the Chief Justice's question. My Lord, in exercise of power, granted by entry 31, the company law is there. Now, the company law contains elaborate provisions which deal with the question of privacy of businesses, their premises. Uh, it, it deals with when search and seizure can be made, uh, can, documents can be... Take in. the point. So, so the, similarly, uh, because criminal law is on the concurrent list under under entry one. You make article the point about privacy. There, therefore, province has also made laws which affect the concept of Andari privacy. Saab. Malay, privacy alone, privacy can very well be a standalone subject matter of a statute. It is a concept. Hey, the which can, federal which, or provincial? Both. It, it, it can. Okay, you made, your, can you made both. your point. If you it could can, come back to the. It can be both. You made your point. My Lord. We've noted your point. If you could come, come back, back to entry, entry 55. 55. Entry 55. Let's read it, my Lord. Jurisdiction, and it has two parts. The first part, and my Lord, what the Honorable Chief Justice said about entry 49, 59 is exactly my case. And I'll explain why. The first part of entry 55. Jurisdiction and powers of all courts except the Supreme Court with respect to any of the matters in this list. So, so this doesn't apply to cheek. the Supreme Court. And to such extent as is expressly authorized by or under the Constitution, the enlargement of the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court and conferring thereon of supplemental powers, once this is invoked, once, then, as my Lord, the Chief Justice on, uh, said, matters ancillary or in, uh, incidental or ancillary to any matter can also be brought in. Now, what does this expression mean? Entry 55, only, there can only be enlargement of jurisdiction, but only where there is an express authorization by or under the Constitution. But you are missing out the earlier words, as is expressly authorized by or under the constitution yes no, no just wait a minute well where is 184.3 expressly authorized it is not it is 184.3 is in the constitution but there is a some you're not hearing the point the key extent as is expressly authorized by or under the constitution 194th part of the enlargement of the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Now the question is that 184.3 power that is already given to us, the Constitution could have not given that power to us. It is not an inherent power of the nature as under Section 9 of the Civil Procedure Code. Correct? My Lord. It's an extraordinary power which is rarely given in any Constitution in the world. Correct. My Lord. Correct? So Correct. far we are good. Correct. So that power was given by the Constitution to us. Now, are they giving an appellate forum therein, enlarging the power or taking away the power? My Lord, twofold answer. They are taking away the power. How? By, and I rely on the judgment. Which the judgment is for you, now. Arguments, DJ, now. My Lord, I'm going to arguments precedent ki base page. Yeah, I'm going to have no contention. Don't care. My Lord, it is, it is a curtailment of power. Because the concept of finality that attaches to judgments under Article 184.3 that's a different concept. Take here, for instance, a three-member bench decides something. Naturally, a three-member bench cannot undo it. Five-member bench ho gaya, whatever full court ho gaya. So 184.3 ki unhone enlarge kar diya power. Theek hai? I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that you keep saying that it's taking away the power. The first power was conferred by Parliament through the Constitution. 
that power is being enlarged. If this power had was given to, for instance, the Senate of Pakistan, okay, you will sit in appeal over 184.3 because Supreme Court can't sit in appeal over its own orders. So then maybe, yes, you're absolutely correct. But this power, it has not gone out of this building. It is remains within the building. And unless you say two minds are always better than five, that ends, uh, ends the story, Vaspadlab, you know, so you're saying that more minds would actually be destructive of the 184 inherent power? Uh, if they think about something or uh, if with the passage of time they may want to revisit things or maybe want to appeal things, I mean, you know, no. one thing is, of course, you can revisit something, okay? revisit number of the judges count, but this is a specific power. I don't understand that my power is less than my power. The Supreme Court is increasing. How are you saying that it is less than my power? My Lord, as I said, I have, as, as a counsel of this court, bound by the law that your Lordship laid down in precedence. No, my sorry Lord. to say, this is, you tell me something. You as a counsel are first and foremost bound by the constitution of Pakistan and as the laws of Pakistan. Then after that, the president will come. The president, you all keep it first, leave it and leave it. It comes to the end. First it will come, then 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 it will come. The Supreme Court, courts, if they've been making laws, I think that's wrong. Their power is to interpret law. If a law violates some constitutional provision, strike it down. Now, we cannot assume power. I have not taken an oath to uphold the judgments of the Supreme Court. I have taken an oath to uphold the constitution and the law of Pakistan until such time that law, I feel, is violative of a fundamental right or whatever you want to argue, even the whole scheme of legislative scheme that has been laid out. Uh, may I'm not bound by precedents. If, if that was the case, I would not have taken oath uh, even as a judge if I'm bound by all the precedents of the Supreme Court. Even dissent, I, even if the whole court says, I can still maintain, I don't agree, but it will still be binding on me. That's a different thing. Uh, 189 says, it will still be binding on me, but I can say I disagree. Otherwise, you kill dissent also. Then everybody has to agree to everything else. So don't just, these are important questions. You are just sort of saying your powers have been taken away. I don't feel they've been taken away. Before you, well, Lord, if, can I you explain, as if you could explain uh, as the as entry 55 again, I, I, I haven't got it. Well, Lord, General, tell me. Well, Lord, entry 55 allows, number one, only the enlargement yes. of jurisdiction of the Supreme Court, Gee. and only where there is express authorization to that effect in the Constitution, yes. by the Constitution, or under the Constitution. Enlargement, the enlargement ka kya matlab hai? Lord, How do you understand enlargement? Enlargement. For me, as a matter of plain English, means something exists and you make it bigger. As again, <coughs> my lord, with all this is doesn't my, it destroy your argument? My, my lord, let me let me articulate. Karin, karin. The Lern word counsel, enlargement, Lern what counsel. enlargement means Lern in the context counsel. of entry fifty five, and Lern what counsel. enlargement means in the context of entry fifty five has been interpreted yes. by this honourable court. Then at council, there are many there can be two situations. One, 184.3 now order. Or sirf ek appeal de di jati. Now here, 184.3 jurisdiction already exists. A remedy is being provided. So there's a distinction between these two situations. The Malod, jurisdiction see, already uh, exists. My Lord, I'll, I'll, I'll come to that. An appeal is a substantive right. It has to be substantively given by substantive uh, uh, provision in, in the act or the constitution. You cannot by implication or by rules or by subordinate legislation create a right. 184.3 is a jurisdiction in itself, the original jurisdiction. I think For 50 if, uh, years if go it back, has existed as such. Yeah. Why do you think even the dictators or even the, the legislative assemblies which uh, amended the constitution did not legislate in, on the one hand or amend the constitution on the other and why has it all of a sudden now been done under what circumstances? Yeah, Leonard Council. Uh, that, uh, that Leonard Council. I think there's a 
Mr. Bandari, you are in a very unenviable position. <laughs> I sympathize with you. I sympathize. I, I can assure, I can assure that many of your lordship's questions might be answered, and I can't say yeah. will be answered. Learned Only if, counsel, I'm if I'm allowed to articulate correct. my my sir, counsel, correct. I think I, I can assure my lord. If your lordship can just sir, Fitna, allow I me think, to uh, articulate my submissions. Yeah, बहुत अच्छा question इन्होंने raise किया है. I think that is also to be seen in historical context. There were only two judgments of this court after this constitution was promulgated, Darshan Mercy case and Benazir Bhutto's case. Regrettably, this court, after 2010, departed from both those judgments. And the manner in which 184.3 in many cases was used that probably is one reason why the parliament, a representative body, wanted or intended to have these remedies. My Lord, I, if, I, if you can go back to entry 55. I, I'll go back to entry 55. And, and, and Mr. But, but just, just Mr. As, as, a, as, a, as a brief riposte to that, my Lord, two don't. wrongs don't make a right. If this court was wrong, then, then the parliament is wrong now, and two wrongs will not make a right. And I'll come back to that. My Lord, I'll come back to that. Let me go back to entry so, 55. So going back to entry 55, can I, can I be your voice on the bench Lord, and help I'll you? I'll be so grateful. So, so what I'll you're trying so to say is, just to support you, and so that nobody sort of... <laughs> So, what you're trying to say is that Entry 55 says that there has to be express authorization I, from the con within the Constitution for enlargement of yes. jurisdiction. And one prime example, just as Asha had asked the question, prime example is 185.3, which says specifically that you can enlarge the monetary jurisdiction right. of the Supreme Court. Uh, so, that is the express provision yes. mentioned. Isn't that the case? My Lord. So, my question then, then is that if this is what you're saying, you're saying that uh, it is purely to, there has to be express provision in the constitution, even though I don't understand the under the constitution. But anyway, let's stick to the by the constitution. And uh, example would be 185 and perhaps there are some other provisions which would give that express. I'll come to that. Uh, so, so the, but my problem with this is that uh, when we talk about enhancement of jurisdiction, I, I see that. Uh, but I have a problem with the practice and procedure part. That practice and procedure doesn't really flow out of 55. And that kind of makes the word law then redundant in 191 because that law is not finding any support. Even if we say 191 is not enabling provision, then one, that, that law must stand alone, must draw some power from some the competence from some source it's not coming out of 55 because it is purely for enlargement of jurisdiction well it will come if 55 is rightly invoked then practice and procedure will come in through entry 59 that my lord the chief no, no, justice but 59 reads that it has to be read along with the substantive part yes. of it which is enhancement of jurisdiction yes. so enhancement of jurisdiction is related my lord, to let me part. let me give there are to my humble uh, knowledge there there used to be one very clear provision was then by the constitution Dana, regarding enlargement of jurisdiction and which was actually taken notice of by this court in Baz Mahmud Kakar's case. This was, my lord, before its repeal, this was article 247, clause 7. Please, of the constitution. As it has been pointed out, this may though in a support key, I get you a jurisdiction, co banana, or supplemental karna to Kursati parliament. Who repeal Ogia, two forty seven. Any concept Ogia, but the judgment is there, and Supreme Court Kapna judgment to Hena. The different ground to repeal. Who repeal? Para thirty seven of Baz Mahmud Kakar. If I can, if I, if I can just read this out, Article two forty seven, clause seven. As page now it's been a pardon page. Well, this is the constitution itself. This was prior to its repeal. No, no, page, no, page 967, para 37. Citation. This is PLD 90, uh, 2012, Supreme Court, 923, para 37 at 967. This is one example of enlargement of jurisdiction of the Supreme Court in terms of Article 247, Clause 7, which read, my lord, neither the Supreme Court nor a High Court shall exercise any jurisdiction under the Constitution in relation to a tribal area unless Majlis Shura, Parliament by law, otherwise provides. 
and pursuant to this an act was promulgated in 1973 and this was taken notice of by this honorable court in my lord that's one example the other is as your lordship mentioned article 185 of the constitution 18532d and e 23 Sorry, Sir, uh, ex ha. express, express authorizations by the constitution. D, yes. 1852 D and also E. Right. मैं ये page 970 पे supplemental power का भी जिक्र है. Page 970 पे जो paragraph है ना वो आप पढ़िए वो detail में. जी जी. उसमें ये clarity आ जाती है. As it has been pointed out here and above. My question is that even for a minute, I mean, I'm just something that. If we were to leave 55 for a minute, what is really stop? I mean, it's a question of interpretation. What's really stopping us uh, from interpreting 191 to mean that it actually is actually envisaging a law for practice and procedure? It is the enabling provision. Suppose if we go in that direction, what comes in our way? I mean, that's that's that sort of solves a lot of mystery. Also, it is saying that. the constitution is envisaging that there is the constitution could provide for practice and procedure some law could provide for practice and procedure and the supreme court can its rules provide for procedure meaning by one way of looking at it is meaning by that the constitution is saying that yes for for the purposes of practice and procedure there could be a law so 1 191 could be read as an enabling provision if that is read as an enabling provision then it sort of solves my lord with all due respect in my opinion it can't be read as an enabling provision but it is a limitation and the limitation that it imposes on the supreme court's power is not limited to practice and procedure no, no, but the, let me let me just no, suppose the uh, can the, the supreme court Mr. rules Bandari, cannot I say mean. that that in a, in in adjudicating our appeals regarding contractual issues we will not take so, into account the so contract what, what i my problem is that suppose there were no rules of made by the supreme court so how would we look at 191 then and then there is a law the word law is mentioned suppose it's a total green field there's no nothing uh, in the so then a law could be there to regulate the practice and procedure if the supreme court decides not to make the rules for a minute my lord then the source could be law itself my lord could, could so it, then could, to call it limiting would be not my lord could it, could it be provincial law also the law no, will considering that it relates to i mean that's another issue with entry 58 that what was what is uh, relate to federation mean so if it's relates to federation perhaps it's a federal law that we're talking about or not that's another question that i want Malad, to ask the the problem as i said there are, there are, there is a structural limitation on the, the, the word law in article 191 you can't read it shoresh kashmiri's case 6 pld 69 supreme court 14 said law is very broad you but here you will not include provincial law you will in my humble opinion we will not include ordinances because ordinances are executive acts if you allow my lord if i can just finish this my lord if you allow ordinances and rules which are law to be read into law in article 191 what happens to 17753 the judiciary has to be separate from the executive how can you allow the executive to make rules for practice and procedure of the supreme court so the law the word law in 191 has inbuilt limitations i concede that it will include act of parliament but in certain limited circumstances only when entry 55's conditions are met so your then, answer to the pro issue is that you would come through 55 you would come up with a law that relating to enhancement which is specifically provided and in that law yes. you could then ancillary provide provide for practice and procedure that's that's my reading that's the only way that's to get that's the only way you but then those provisions would relate to the enlargement part yes. not anything more not, than not not anything and that's that's why i say it's it's a it, it's a very restricted power my lord sorry in terms of yeah. your you you raise a very interesting way to look at this thing but uh, i think if we look at uh, uh, law as uh, as conferring an enabling jurisdiction the, i think one issue with 191 is that uh, we have on the same thing namely the practice and procedure of the court we have two uh, law making powers one is the supreme court it's a direct grant by the constitution and if law is read in an enabling sense then parliament also 
So this creates uh, a situation where on the same subject matter, if I may use uh, that term, ordinarily the problem arises where on the same subject matter, the division in terms of lawmaking ability is between federation and the provinces, right? Mm -hmm. So to take a very simple example, entry 49 of, uh, of the taxes on income other than agricultural income, right? So <coughs> the subject matter is tax on income, income. and the constitution splits it into splits two. It. Agricultural income goes to the provinces, mm -hmm. this goes to the, and we have all issues of trespass and this, that, and you know all of that. Here the interesting thing is that on the same subject matter, practice and procedure, you have the constitution is, is giving a grant to the Supreme Court itself. If law is read as an enabling power in Article 191, then the same power is conferred on a separate branch, the legislative branch. So in terms of the principle of separation of powers, how do we resolve, uh, how would we resolve a conflict if law over there is to be read as an enabling power? In terms of legislative competence, the division between federation and, pal and provinces, we know all of that. But here, how would we uh, draw the distinction how would we resolve a conflict? So maybe, because speaking for myself, you know, I am not too satisfied with you are, with the way you are identifying it with entry number 55. Seems to me that a more natural on your reading would be entry 58. But that would mean that it is not an enabling provision. It doesn't really, it allows them to restrict. Otherwise, the conflict uh, between two separate branches making something that is law on the same subject matter, how would that be resolved? I will, I will, I will address that. Yeah, I think that's an excellent question. You want to mull it over. We will reconvene uh, after lunch or prayers. Okay? You can mull it over. The question before you start. We don't want to cut you short and you start something it doesn't finish. Okay, I'm grateful.